Here's a picture of Earth from the Deep Space Climate Observatory, approximately one million miles away of the Earth, spinning at 1,000 miles per hour or a little more. Let's hide and look. But here's the absurd picture that is in the minds of flat earthers of the Earth spinning at over 1,000 miles per hour. Yeah, who would believe that? Who would believe that we are spinning on the Earth moving that fast? So what I want to do, I want to show something that is not the heliocentric representation of the motions of this solar system. However, flat earthers tend to look at this rendition and think that this is how the heliocentric model looks in CGI animation. This is not an accurate description or p depiction. So what we want to do Today, we want to give you an idea of how the motions would look in real time and a little faster than real time. Right back at you with another one. Look here, we're in Celestia, which is a program that gives us a two scale model of the universe or observable universe. And right now, it's January 31st, 2018 and we're on the universal coordinated time. It's real time, now I'm speeding it up. 100, 1,000 times faster than real time speed. This how the Earth would look. If we were looking at it from a cosmic scale moving at one million miles per hour at the equator. But we sped it up to this speed so that we can see some motion and we can look at the relative motion of it revolving around this here. The sun, the helios, heliocentric model here because the planets revolve around it. But we're gonna move out in scale and we're gonna tilt the view so we can get an idea of the motion. Now, that third ring around the sun is the orbit of the planet that you're on, Earth. And what we're going to do, we're going to move out a little bit more. And if you look at this little dot down here, that is the Earth. Even though it's a little bigger than scale right now, but it's there so that we can know where it's at. So we're going to speed up the time a little bit faster, well, a lot faster, so that we can see the motion. Because we know that the Earth is revolving around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour, approximately. So at 100,000 times faster, this is the motion that we would see looking at it on this cosmic scale. 100 times faster. Think over that now. And what we're going to do, we're going to show you, because this solar system is moving at approximately 500 15,000 miles per hour. And we want to show you at 100,000 times faster how it would look revolving around the Milky Way galaxy. It takes over 225 million years to make one revolution around this Milky Way galaxy or the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So we want to get a little closer. We're going to try to center this and flip it around a little bit so that we can get a better view of the Milky Way galaxy. Now, what we want to do is first of all, we want to locate this sun and solar system again so that we can have an idea 
of where we're at in this galaxy. Y'all go nowhere now. I want you to pay close attention. Back in. Here's the sun. Right. 100,000 times faster. We're moving back out. We're moving back out. Let's go. Let's go. We're going. We're going. Gone. That's what I'm talking about. From a cosmic scale, moving at 500,000 miles per hour or a little more, at 100,000 times faster, we can hardly notice the speed. Now we're gonna, we, we're actually gonna keep on making it faster. Now look at it right now, it's 2021, April, May, June, September, blah, 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 it's speeding up. Now we're gonna make it even faster. Let's see if we can detect the motion. Let's go up a little faster, all right? That's even faster. I don't see any motion yet. Let's go 10 times faster. Still hard to detect the motion. Okay, right now we're at 1 trillion. 1 trillion times faster than actual speed. Yet, we still do not notice the motion. That's how huge this galaxy is, brother. Sisters. So, I did this just to give you an idea of the scale of what you're dealing with. So next time, when you think of this, we're gonna slow it back down, but next time you think of this, just try to understand the scale of what we're dealing with. That's all I discussed today. I'll holler at you next time.